Next fight, let's go to the Crescent Tools, tail of the tape. We move to the heavyweight division. Juan Torres versus Zach Kalmus. Sean, you can see it very similar in all aspects. There is a slight 15 pound weight disparity. Zach Kalmus is a little bit heavier. He might want to lean on his opponent, push him around, see if that can wear his opponent down. This is bout number three in BKFC for Zach Kalmus. He's 1-0 and in pro boxing, had 23 amateur boxing bouts. Through his opening two bare knuckle fights, Kalmus told us he now feels the punching accuracy over constant pressure is more important. He said that punching accuracy is in fact my key to victory. Yeah, working on his accuracy, working on it, putting his guard higher so we have to watch out for body shots wants to make sure that he's cutting angles all the time and firing back when he is pressured. Kalmus said, I want to constantly throw the jab. I do not want to stand and trade with Juan Torres. I have to be smarter than that. Well, he knows his opponent wants a boxing match. He doesn't want a boxing match. Wants the match to stay moving, utilize that jab, try and pick his opponent apart. Kalmus said, I really respect Juan Torres. I know that he has legitimate knockout power. I will enter and exit off of angles. From the Jason mask to the Michael Myers mask, Juan Torres. This is his fourth fight in the sport of bare knuckle, his third promotionally in BKFC. He's also had 23 pro MMA bouts, 14 fights in pro boxing. Torres told us that working on his fitness was his main focus in training for this bout. Yeah, he worked on his fitness, but to do that, he wants to make sure he gets in his opponent's face the entire time. He wants to get in the pocket, he wants to utilize feints, he wants to stay close and make this a good boxing match where he can showcase his boxing skills, but do that from the inside, Sean. Torres told us, I know that Zach Kalmus likes a high, tight striking guard. With that, he'll leave his body open, and I am going to target the body. I will throw uppercuts to the body. I will push Zach Kalmus backwards. Pushing him back, keeping him on his heels. He feels like Zach can't fight backing up, and that's one of his keys. If he can push his opponent back, he feels like he has a more than better chance of winning this fight. Juan Torres said, I have to establish forward pressure and movement. I cannot let Kalmus establish that forward momentum. To get us started, we go back to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for the next fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Presented to you by Lions Not Sheep Apparel. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears black blue and pink. He stands at even six feet tall. His official weight, 256 pounds. His bare knuckle record stands at one victory opposite a single defeat. Fighting out of Gloucester, Massachusetts. Here is Zach Shark Attack Kalmas. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears blue and white. He stands at even six feet tall. His official weight, 241 and one half pounds. He steps into the squared circle for the third time. Fighting out of Huntsville, Texas. Here is Juan El Martillo Torres. And our referee in charge of the action, Andrew Glenn. Zach Kalmus said, with my high striking guard comes adjustments. If Torres goes to the body, I will adjust. Sporting touch of hands, round number one. Blue trucks for Juan Torres, black trucks for Zach Kalmus. Off the jab from the southpaw stance, forward pressure, just like he told us he wanted to establish early is Juan Torres. Hard right jab, Kalmus bouncing off the ring ropes, resetting from the ortho stance, double jab, not there. You see classic right-handed versus southpaw fighter. Both guys trying to get outside that lead foot. Whoever get outside has that straight shot right down the pipe. See the level change. Left hand counter right hand from Torres. Torres wide stance. There's the duck under. Big right hand. Big swing from Juan Torres. Helmus. Three on the right hook. 
Wings misses, now landing. Big right hand, both fighters landed. 105 remaining, round number one. Left to the body, overhand right on the entry from Torres. Almost an MMA-like striking sequence. And these guys are just winging punches, Sean. Just like that. Naked right hook to the body from Kalmus. More pressure again from Juan Torres. There's the duck under into the clinch right hand. And I can hear the call of naked two being yelled out by Kalmus' corner right there. They just want to throw that lead right in. We talked about that, Sean. Either you're very good when you throw that or very bad. We'll see. The front shoulder from Torres, double jab from Kalmus. Taking Torres off his striking line. And Kalmus looking to throw that naked right hook to the body. That's a very dangerous punch. Naked right hook to the body. Most people want to preface that with a couple jabs, at least to make the people put their hands up in their face and block it. Torres, switching to the ortho stance, back to his favorite southpaw into the clinch. Call a break from Andrew Glenn. Final seconds, round number one of this heavyweight bout. Swing and a miss. That is the end of round one. When your moment finally arrives and all your hard work, dedication, and loyalty to your craft is clear for all to see, your results will speak for themselves. Because when you need the hardest hitting tools on the market, you reach for the brand that always knows how to throw down each and every time. Unbelievable. Crescent Tools, trusted by the trades. Just over 15 minutes from now, our main card will begin. You can scan the QR code on your screen. If you're over 40, ask your kids or grandkids. They will figure it out for you. Top of the hour. BKFC 30, our first time ever for Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship in Louisiana. Round number two, our second and final bout on our worldwide free view as you're with us globally online, Juan Torres versus Zach Kalmus. He's the duck under, heavy into the clinch comes Zach Kalmus. And Sean, both these guys wing in punches so much. I'd like to see a few more straight shots right down the pipe. I think they're gonna beat the opponent to that. Overhand right, you throw a straight left on the pipe or a straight right, that would be right. Heavy into the clinch, there's a big left hand. More big swings. Kalmus hard to the body with those hooks. That turned Juan Torres. Best sequence offensively of the fight for Kalmus coming forward off the jab. Kalmus looks like he smells blood right now. He feels like he's hurt his opponent. He's coming right after. Andrew Glenn, soft warning to Zach Kalmus saying, watch punches to the back of the head. Sporting touch of hands right back to it. 65 seconds remaining round two. A lot of energy was expended right there by Kalmus. Kalmus again to the body, right hand. Literally a face wash push off of Kalmus with the left hand back, soft Torres. Torres now to the body. And the double unders, separation again from Andrew Glenn. Torres trying to duck under, landing hard right hands in the clinch. Jordan Sharp ripping up his Kalmus to get the separation. 35 seconds remaining round two. Kalmus coming forward into the center circle. You see right there, Torres' mouth is wide open after he's exchanged. Right there, it's wide open right now. And again, so is Kalmus. Both guys, their mouth is wide open. They gotta be careful. They don't wanna get that jaw broken with an overhand right. Overhand right after the stick jab to the body from Torres. Not full power on that punch. Left hand on the entry for Torres, back into the clinch. Your right uppercut from Kalmus couldn't fully land. Good right hand lands from Torres. Left hand on the counter. Not ruled a knockdown by Andrew Glenn. We move to round three. And both these guys are just winging so hard punches. I'm surprised if they're not gonna get tired from doing this. These guys are both throwing a lot of power, and when you do that and you miss, it really zaps you for energy, Sean. Relax, relax. And here's Torres throwing some good hard right hands on the inside. Look at those. They didn't like look. They were very powerful being thrown, but man, they did a lot of damage, you could tell. And look, you see Zach. Oh. Looks like the referee, referee felt like it was an overhand right that Torres threw that knocked him off balance, not a punch. 
The issue there was not the timing, and again, it's not when the punch lands, but when the punch is thrown. If the action of the punch starts before the bell lands, the bell rings, the punch lands, it's a legal punch. Andrew Glenn, though, felt it had nothing to do with the timing, it had everything to do with the balance. So, no knockdown, round number three. Double jab, heavy front shoulder jab right back from Zach Kalmus. He's the duck under again from Juan Torres into the clinch. Torres has been effective in the clinch, hitting the underhook and showing throwing those short, sharp punches. Some good sportsmanship. Three left hook not there. Nicely defended by Zach Kalmus. 25 remaining round three of this heavyweight bout. Circling on the outside, entry again from Juan Torres. Underhook now snatched by Kalmus. And a separation from Andrew Glenn. Chris, we're seeing Torres duck under to throw that hook to the body. Yeah, I'd like to see after that hook to the body come back with a, another hook upstairs. Torres momentarily changing the ortho back to southpaw. So once again, we're not seeing too many just great punches right down the pipe. He's a lot of looping shots. I think if you throw it straight, it might be almost like a change that people won't see it coming. Your eyes have adjusted these hooks. A straight punch might do a lot of damage. Mouse has popped under the left eye of Zach Kalmus, and you see it is leaking blood. Hard jab to the body from Torres. Hook to the body. Three left hook, counter left hook right back. Kalmus landed, Torres smiled. To the body on the entry goes Zach Kalmus. 15 seconds remaining round three. Stiff jab. There's the duck under left hand. Clever from Torres. Short right hand again. Another right hand. Torres driving forward. Next stop round four. And you can really see during that last minute, Torres really found a home for some shots to the body. He's doing a lot of really good body work right now, and it just shows these guys have thrown so much energy after these punches. They're gas. It's going to be very difficult for Kalmus to continue to throw punches that way, like that, and block the body. It's just you've got to start grabbing punches first. like that. You've got to start leading with something different. He's answering off see the Chris jab. See Chris Jensen in the corner of Zach Kalmus. Straight right or a hook. Right. Every time you jab, he's catching. Kalmus just fights with so much hard. He just goes out there and leaves it all. He wants to hit so hard. He wait for him to come inside. Everything into each punch right there, and then he get tired. But he's doing a great job of fighting through that pain. And fight through that tiredness and continue to put on a great you fight. Job? You want to jump? It's not a bug. Don't move, Zach. Don't move. Don't move. Let him play. Don't move, Zach. Don't move. Don't move. You just heard the seconds out whistle. Set for round number four. First up to scratch is Juan Torres. Knuckle up. Oh, knuckle up from Andrew Glenn. Round number four underway. Immediate forward pressure from Juan Torres. On the circling out off the jab. Almost sitting on that right hand. The jab again with the right hand from the southpaw stands for Torres. Torres, you see now slapping, paring away that jab of Kalmus. And not getting through from Torres. To the body. To the body again. There's where Torres really starts to do damage. When he starts landing at the body, it seems like it really takes it out of the that time. Triple jab on the entry for Kalmus into the clinch. With 15 remaining round four. Right hook not there to the body from Kalmus. Left jab to Zach Kalmus. Overhand left from Torres. That was clever, that landing. That was clever because he continued to throw those left to the body and just that made the, the punch upstairs not being looked for because Zach was used to that going to the body. You see how low now Juan Torres is leaving his hands. I don't think that's exhaustion. I think that's trying to bait in Kalmus. Kalmus definitely not using a as high of a striking guard as we've seen in his two previous bouts. So higher, tighter hands for Zach Kalmus than for Juan Torres. Torres keeping his rear left hand below waistline here through much of round four. 
20 seconds remaining in this fourth round. Duck under again, right hand, left hand, big overhand right from Zach Palmas. It's driving Torres back with the left hook. Shades of Kazushi Sakuraba, the left, right, left, right, and close. Albeit Sakuraba would do that on the ground. We move to the fifth and funnel round. Like I said, you can tell how tired right now that Kalmas is, but he still came up with a good combination there, landed some good punches and spun Juan Torres around. Want to get some water? At the beginning of that round, I saw Juan Torres go to the body a few times. I thought that was going to be a trend he was going to continue because that worked so well in the third round. He got away from it. Relax, breathe, and breathe, breathe, breathe. There breathe, is a breathe, good breathe, left breathe, in the breathe, face breathe, early breathe. in that round. They're good, breathe. That Kalmas does what he does and breathe, walks right through it, though. Here's just some good work being this, done by that right now, Zach. We're up. You hear me? Trying to stay busy in there. Big breath into your nose. Slowly exhale out your mouth. Get back. Who's up? Calm and present. This is the round. The I'm top of the about. hour. Just These over five minutes from now, our right main now. card will These begin. You can watch you it live fighter. worldwide on the BKFC order. app. We are set for the fifth and final round of this bout in the heavyweight division. Juan Torres versus Zach Kalmus. Fifth and funnel round underway. Zach Kalamas opens with a double jab off from scratch. You can see Zach using all heart right now. He really wants to finish strong. Face wash with the right hand of Torres. When wanted for that. You can't palm, you can't open hand slap, you can't legally face wash with bare knuckles. Is coming forward. Torres to move laterally. To the clinch overhook. Now snatched by Torres. To the body goes Zach Kalmas. Short punches. There's the separation. Three left hook to the body for Torres. Torres just looking to get inside with those punches. Overhand right. Then a double left hand from Torres. He's got to throw more punches when he's on the inside. Sometimes he's just punching. It's Torres right there. Overhand right, Kalmus walking through that. Two-handed push off by Torres. No warning there from Andrew Glenn. Overhand right from Kalmus, left to the body from Torres, left to the head. The fighters continuing to throw, continuing to land. And that now is fully popped. Blood flowing freely under Kalmus's left eye. Luckily, it's in of the eye. It's not going to affect the vision at all. Driving pressure again from Zach Kalmus. 20 seconds remaining in this fight. Kalmus again driving forward off of the hooks. Right uppercut to the body for Torres. Left hand, Kelmus landing a left hand. Torres with a left hand. Both fighters swinging freely. The overhand left, left again. That is the end of the fight. Wow, what a finish right there. Looks like Torres got wobbled for a second. These are two genuinely nice human beings, Juan Torres and Zach Kelmus. You see basically a mutual celebration of their 10 minutes of work. Good job, my friend. <laughs> Both smiling. You saw the hog. Good, good job. Good job, big dog. Come on, baby. And here, both guys do everything might be on the line, so this is gonna let it all go out. Just wild punches being thrown right here. Good right hand being landed. You can see Torres kind of slips up a little bit. From a different angle, you see the same thing. Just a lot of punches being thrown. Good overhand right there. Very close competitive fight, Sean. Look at that percentage right there being landed by Juan Torres. Unbelievable. However, Zach Kalmus did throw a lot more punches. So that's what we're going to find out. Both guys landed about the same percentage is different. I mean, look at those head punches being thrown. I got 295, but Percentage-wise, unbelievably good for Juan Torres. This is going to be a hard one for the judges. 
98% landed for Torres, 91 for Kevin. I mean, when they went to the body, they landed heavily. So this is going to be a hard one to score. Are you going for accuracy and power, or are you going to go for volume? We're going to find out right now. Thank you so much. Look at my mom. I love you, mom. We still await the entry of Jeff Houston, which means a slight delay at the commission table. The Louisiana State Athletic Commission, the delay is ended. Jeff Houston is now into the ring. We send it to Jeff Houston now. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the scheduled five rounds, our judges send into the ring a split decision. Judge Singletary scores the fight 48-47 in favor of Torres. Judge Dayton, 48-47 in favor of Kalmus. And Judge Sherlock, 49-46 to the winner. By split decision, Juan El Martillo Torres. Great victory for Torres. A very close fight. Came in and got the, did enough to win. And two judges' eyes, Sean. You see the mutual respect, the sportsmanship, indeed the friendship. Very hard fought between Juan Torres and Zach Kalmus over the full five rounds and 10 minutes. The winner by way of split decision, Juan Torres defeats Zach Kalmus.